Here you can see the surface of the second top coat being stroked with fingers to see if it leaves an impression. And then the sponge float is filled, the grain of the sponge float is filled with top coat, wetted and rubbed over the surface. This helps to even it out, compress it and make a more flowing finish. As soon as you find this starts dragging, then you need to add more water. You can see this is the surface that's left, the grain of the top coat appearing from the sponging. The fat is then being pulled off the surface and cleaned off onto the sponge float, creating a fine, silky, smooth finish. It's very important to get the float coat level so you don't have variation in the thickness of your top coat. To remove any final blemishes you can dust the surface of the plaster with a wetted brush and then re-trowel. This will remove any blemishes. A good brush is important otherwise the hairs will pop out and stick on your plaster. Cleaning tools is very important, especially in top coat, otherwise you'll find you have little gritty bits which will appear in your top coat which are very frustrating.